Hello and welcome to day 28 of 30. Today, you're going to learn how to open raw files in GIMP. Yes, raw files in GIMP. So let's do it. So the key to working with raw files in GIMP is to use another application called Darttable. It's a free raw editor that will allow you to work with raw files with GIMP. So to use Darttable, you need to go to darttable.org, click on install, find your operating system to download the application, and then install it like you would any other software. So we have to do this because we cannot open a raw file directly in GIMP, which is the same thing with Photoshop. So if you've come from Photoshop, you know you can't open a raw file in Photoshop either. You have to use another piece of software or a plugin, and it's called Adobe Camera Raw. So Darttable is very similar. It's like a plugin for GIMP. So once you have that installed, if you had GIMP open before that, make sure you quit GIMP and reopen it so it will link with Darttable. Then once you have that done, reopen up GIMP, and then you can go ahead and open up raw files directly in GIMP, either by going up to the menu and selecting open from here. And yes, I'm using a Mac right now, but this works for Windows and Linux users as well. So you can locate your files from here, or if you locate them in your finder or your operating system window, you can click and drag those files over your GIMP interface. And then once you release, it will open that file in Darttable. So for this demonstration, I'm going to open up two raw files so you can see what happens when you open up multiple files. So depending on the speed of your computer, it could take a few seconds to a couple minutes to open up your images in Darttable because it has to open Darttable itself and then add the raw files. So I have one of the raw files here, and if I click here, we can see that there's no other thumbnails except for I have different versions of this particular image. So it didn't open up that second file. So what we have to do is we need to work on this image so we make our editing adjustments, and I'm not gonna go through how to edit images in Darttable in this tutorial. I do have another tutorial, or actually a playlist, for Darttable beginners explaining exactly how to use Darttable, get started with it, and I'll show you how to edit this image right here. So make sure to check out that playlist, and I'll have it in the description below. So once you're done editing, all your edits that are applied are saved to the raw file. So you're not working with the pixels themselves, or in other words, it's a non-destructive method of editing. So once you're done, you can come over here and click right here to close Darttable. Darttable will close, and then GIMP will automatically open up that image with the edits that you applied to it. Then, in the background, what it's actually doing is it's starting to open up Darttable again for that second image that I wanted to load. So we have to work with our images this way individually. So what I would recommend doing is importing all your images into Darttable first, then edit all those files individually, then export and import them into GIMP or open them in GIMP. Because if you do it this way, it's going to slow down your workflow considerably because each time you open up and close Darttable, you have to wait for Darttable to open up again for the next image, so on and so forth. So it's gonna take a while to go through all your images if you have multiple images. Two or three images is okay. Anything more than that, and it's gonna really slow you down. So once I close out Darttable, it will then open up that second image in another tab. And as you can see, it's taking a little while to do. So that's why I recommend editing all your images in one batch with Darttable versus trying to do it this way. So there's the second image now. So if you want to learn more about Darktable, like I mentioned, I have a complete playlist, which you can find right there to your left. I think it's that way. So go ahead and check out that playlist. Thanks for listening and have an awesome day.